Okay, this is for everyone that bought the Jayco um, JFly SLX 195RB. Uh, if your tongue's bending, I'm going to go through what I'm going to do to fix it. I called Jayco and they told me that um, I was a second owner, which the first owner wasn't trying to dump it. He was actually moving out of state and didn't want to haul it back. And, uh, well, that was his story, at least. I don't think he was trying to pawn it off on us, but you might get one of these thinking you got a great deal. And it ends up that uh, it does have a little, well, a major flaw, I would call it. Uh, probably the only thing that saved us from buckling was the fact that the original owner put a bike rack on the front there and it kind of caved into the camper. That was how I initially noticed it. So I'm going to go through and uh, measure the thickness and probably double up the rails, weld a new rail on the side of it after I straighten it back out. And I'll uh, get some more pictures there. Oh, and the frame manufacturer told me that they would just put it back to how Jayco had him build it, which that's apparently not going to work either. So, moving on. Okay, so I'm going to take off the bike rack, which may be saving us for the time being, and put the straight edge on it and see what we have for, uh, for how much it's bent up. And, of course, I've got the correct working blanket under me. Piece of crap that is just going to get thrown away. Okay, I'm trying to keep this gap the same along this because there's this piece of metal right here holding it off. So going here, that gap looks about the same. But then you get down to this end, and you can see where it opens up, I'm going to say six inches. So yeah, that's pretty substantial. So I chalked the tires. And I jack the truck up. And I'm going to put jack stands under the frame where it's bending and try and use the uh, jack, you know, the weight of the truck to pull the tongue back down. And yeah, it looks pretty hokey, but we'll see what it does. So this seems like it took about half of it out. And the next thing I'm going to try is jacking up at the bending points on the trailer. All right, this is the part where it's kind of interesting. I cleaned up the frame, and you can still see how much it's bent. Every, all the clips are off the bottom to where I can sister it right along there. And I'm going to put the back part in here, flush. And that's what we're still dealing with. I'm hoping through a series of a thousand clamps that I'll be able to squeeze that down. That's uh, 3 16 2 by because that's kind of all that they had at the yard. Um, and it should be, between the two of them, it should be more than enough. Um, hopefully it just doesn't pop the front end off of this. I'm uh, kind of disappointed with the build quality, but who isn't? Everyone kind of knows what they're getting into when they buy these things. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to weld up both sides and then start squeezing it down. Okay, I'm waiting for the generator to hopefully reset. It's been, not the generator, the welder. Uh, it's been a good welder, but I think it's going on 20 years and it's not doing as well as it used to. I've got the majority of the bend out. You can see there's still a little bit of a bend. I'd say it's probably under an inch, but uh, I could heat it up and get it all out, but I didn't want to put any heat on it because I didn't want to burn the trailer down. And that's pretty much it. And lazy. Um, I've been going over weights in my head, and I know that the front water tank sits right up here in the driver's front corner. It's 20 gallons, so that's 170 pounds, maybe 180. And this trailer is only rated for 561 payload. So then a little Honda type generator, which I don't think is much over 100. And a full cooler, which is probably not much over 100. And they're both behind the axle. So that's about 400 pounds. So 
that's another 150 in miscellaneous and I've packed 50 pound bags of luggage and I just can't see three additional bags of luggage in here so I think this is a manufactured defect that is just kind of sucky it's only uh, the front a-frame is made out of 10 gauge which is a hundred and thirty five thousandths and I added two by two three sixteenths so hopefully between the two of them that's enough to stave off any further uh, bending but I just hopefully the rest of the trailer can handle it I, I maybe we'll put the generator and the cooler in the back of the truck from now on but uh yeah they're behind the axle so it shouldn't have been imparting much load you know even though the wheel is way back it should have been helping if anything I think it's just a little bit of a poor design I saw a Jayco Baja in the uh, storage yard and their frames are impressive I, I wish I'd a it's all hindsight now and we know that these things are made really cheap so doesn't really matter so that's it I'll uh, post some other stuff if it goes to hell in a handbag after I take it on the next trip bye